December 2, 1921. A girl is born in Detroit who will revolutionize drug development and save millions of lives. But when the Nobel Prize is awarded for her work, they'll leave her name out. On purpose. Isabella Lugowski didn't speak English until first grade. Her Polish immigrant parents worked brutal jobs her father painted numbers on trolley cars, her mother sewed car upholstery for 12 hours a day. But Isabella had a female chemistry teacher who believed in her. And a biography of Marie Curie that changed everything. She decided, chemistry would be her career. Her high school teacher told her chemistry wasn't proper for girls. The University of Michigan wouldn't give her a teaching assistant position those were reserved for men only. She got her PhD anyway. At age 23. In 1940, she walked into a chemistry lab. Alphabetical seating put her next to Jerome Carley. They married in 1942. Both worked on the Manhattan Project, developing techniques to extract plutonium chloride. After the war, they joined the Naval Research Laboratory. Jerome focused on mathematical theory. Isabella did the experimental work. Jerome and mathematician Herbert Hauptmann developed direct methods a revolutionary mathematical approach to determine crystal structures from X-ray diffraction. It was brilliant. There was just one problem. Nobody believed it worked. The crystallography community was skeptical for decades. Isabella knew the theory was correct. So she decided to prove it. She built an X-ray diffraction laboratory from scratch. Borrowed equipment. Designed her own experimental setup. Then she developed the symbolic addition procedure the bridge between Jerome's mathematics and actual X-ray data. And she started solving structures nobody else could touch. Peptides. Frog toxins. Antibiotics. Cancer drugs. Complex molecules that stumped every other crystallographer. Slowly, one impossible structure at a time, the field realized Jerome and Hauptmann were right. Because Isabella proved it worked. October 1985. The Nobel Prize in Chemistry goes to Jerome Carley and Herbert Hauptmann for developing direct methods for crystal structure determination. Isabella's name isn't mentioned. The Nobel Committee could award up to three people. They left the third slot empty. Jerome believed Isabella should have shared the prize. The crystallography community questioned the decision. But the committee's choice stood. It's worth noting, Isabella did the experimental validation that made the Nobel Prize possible. Without her work, the theory might have been forgotten. Isabella received the National Medal of Science in 1995. Worked 63 years at the Naval Research Laboratory. Every modern drug uses her crystallography methods. Her three daughters became scientists. And history remembers what the Nobel Committee chose to ignore. Subscribe to learn about the scientists history forgot.